Crystals can be described in two complementary ways. In real space, which shows the actual arrangement of atoms in three dimensions. And in reciprocal space, which provides the mathematical framework for analyzing direction of electronic properties. Reciprocal space is defined as the Fourier transform of the real lattice. It does not represent physical atoms, but rather a conceptual grid where each point corresponds to a family of atomic planes in real space. Importantly, the lattice parameters invert when moving from real space to reciprocal space. For a cubic lattice, a star equals 2 pi divided by a, and similarly for b and c. In general, the reciprocal vectors are obtained using cross products of the real lattice vectors, defined in such a way that the dot product of A and A star equals 2 pi. This inversion relationship explains why large spacings between planes in real space corresponds to small spacings in reciprocal space and why the reflection angles contain direct information about the lattice parameters of the crystal. Crystals can have many different lattice symmetries and not all of them are cubic. Their real space lattice vectors A, B and C are often unequal and not mutually perpendicular. In such non-cubic systems, the reciprocal lattice is defined through vector cross products of the real lattice basis vectors. For example, the first reciprocal vector A star is given by 2 pi multiplied by the cross product of B and C divided by the scalar triple product of A dot B cross C. Similarly, B star equals 2 pi times C cross A divided by A dot B cross C. And C star equals 2 pi times A cross B divided by A dot B cross C. This ensures that each reciprocal vector is perpendicular to the other two real space vectors. For instance, A star is perpendicular to both B and C and so on. These vectors satisfy the orthogonality condition A star dot A equals B star dot B equals C star dot C equals 2 pi. And the mixed dot products like a star dot b or a star dot c are zero. In a cubic system where all lattice vectors are orthogonal and equal in length, these relations simplify to simple inverses. a star equals 2 pi divided by a, b star equals 2 pi divided by b, and c star equals 2 pi divided by c. Understanding these general relations is important because diffraction and break deflections are expressed most naturally in reciprocal space defined this way. Now that we have seen the general relations, let us look at how reciprocal lattices relate for familiar crystal systems. For a simple cubic lattice, the reciprocal is also simple cubic because all axes remain orthogonal and equal. However, for a body-centered cubic lattice, the reciprocal lattice turns out to be face-centered cubic, and vice versa, the reciprocal of FCC is BCC. This inversion reflects how additional lattice points in real space correspond to additional periodicities in reciprocal space. For hexagonal systems, the reciprocal lattice remains hexagonal but the lattice constants invert, meaning the ratio of C by A in reciprocal space is the inverse of that in real space. Understanding these correspondence is crucial in interpreting diffraction patterns. For example, X-ray diffraction peaks from a BCC crystal correspond to reflections expected from an FCC reciprocal lattice. Now, let us look at what the reciprocal lattice means in physical terms. The real lattice represents the actual periodic arrangement of atoms, 
defined by the basic vectors a, b and c. The reciprocal lattice on the other hand exists in Fourier space. It describes how that periodic structure repeats in terms of spatial frequency rather than in terms of distance. Each point in reciprocal space corresponds to a particular family of planes labeled by indices h, k and l in real space. The vector g, h, k, l lies in reciprocal space, but its direction is parallel to the normal of those h, k, l planes in real space. Its magnitude, written as mod g, h, k, l, equals 2 pi divided by d, h, k, l, and tells us how tightly the planes are spaced. If the spacing a d, h, k, l is smaller, then the reciprocal lattice vector becomes larger. So the real lattice tells us where the atoms are located, while the reciprocal lattice tells us where waves can interfere, therefore produce constructive interference in diffraction. That is why reciprocal space rather than real space is the natural framework for understanding diffraction and wave propagation in crystals.